Hello my friends, what's going on? It's me Tangosis, and we're here today for part 2 of my Warframe tutorial showing the difference between the Warframes that have a reactor installed and weapons with catalysts installed and no catalysts as part of my Warframe an introduction to mod series. So today's episode, we're going to compare an uncharged Warframe weapon, weapons and stuff and sentinels compared to that of potato gear. Just so you know, potato essentially means that you put your reactor or catalyst on them. So, go ahead and take a look at the differences. As you can see on Hydroid Configuration B mode, he only has 30 capacity, which can be increased if we flip on like so. I'm not too sure at this moment if the same applies to reactor dwarf frames, if it adds 14, but I don't think it does, but we'll just check to be, to be sure. So as you can see here, 30, and it can be increased with your Aura mod. Quite handy enough. I don't know about, as you can see from your weapons, no mod slots, and only has 30 slots, so not too much can be locked on, really. Same for an Embolus. And an Atterax, as you can see, I got the Burning Wasp on it, so not too bad. Same for your Sentinels as well, really. Whoops. So, yeah, that's Beyond Charged. I asked for stuff with the catalysts and reactors on. You can see that you have freedom to do quite a lot more builds. We're gonna take a look at this one and let's see if we can. This auto install, just to see. You can see that it can be pretty powerful and it can be done pretty quick. Same goes for your weaponry. Actions, auto install. Like so. so. As you can see, if you put reactors and gear on all of your warframes, which I will actually show you now, you can do quite a lot of modding with that. So if you want to apply uh, let's say a reactor for your hydroid frame, you'll want to go to upgrade. Once you're here, you want to go to actions, and you'll see here upgrade to double your mod capacity. You click that, if you hit OK to install an Orkin reactor, the 30 will jump up to 60. I need my reactors at this moment, so I'm not going to do so. Same goes for polarizing. You can choose a slot to pick. And you can add either a V, a dash, or a D slot. But you can see here that this resets your frame to unranked, but it'll make your frame quite powerful if you do so. The same process is done on weapon weapons as well. Let's take a look at the Atarax here. We'll go to config B, actions, you can see to upgrade by installing the catalyst. I'm flipping form on. As for your change polarity, that polarizes and swaps around your slots and stuff. So that's essentially it for showing one how they are to they can like mods and stuff. So I hope this tutorial helped. If you guys liked, please leave a like. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe. If you wanna share your thoughts, please comment and all that our nice stuff I normally say. See all you nice people next time.